welterweight matchup between Tony Ferguson and Nate Diaz. This fight is finally upon us. Nate Diaz and Tony Ferguson, a crazy back and forth outside the octagon. The hype gives way to the action here. Yes, it's going to be a fantastic fight. You know what you get when you get Nate Diaz out there. He's going to talk to you. And even though Ferguson's trash talk doesn't make Now he's got over him. Big call from Westland. Now he gets back to range. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Diaz has got the tie clinch now. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. Well, fear is not a factor for this striker. Coming out swinging early as we expected. Everything being thrown with fight enemy. He throws everything so hard. But he said to us, when we talked to him early in the week, he goes, I'm not afraid of anything. I don't care if I can take it down, as long as I get to put some leather on the guy that I'm fighting before. These guys throwing early. Oh, man, defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, and there he looked like it did stun him a little bit. Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Well, these numbers are unofficial. But... Oh! Double cut lands for him. position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic tweet. Oh! Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But this is a terrible position. This might just be a matter of time. Wow. Down into his mouth. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Gets the elbow up into the target. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? 
Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transitions. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Big punch land to the middle. And both guys really throwing with authority. El Kukui gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Right on the button. I mean, over and over, he is taking these strikes to the head. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land... All right, round two is now upon us. Tony Ready? Ferguson Ready? versus Nate Diaz. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Ferguson gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off to Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer's mindset. And when he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And that one certainly found the target. He blocked the punch. Diaz's lower jaw is just nasty. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Oh, straight right. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, big shot lands. So nice. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Diaz. Nice punch to the head. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Stats here, DC. 118 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. And landing with 46% accuracy tonight against Tony Ferguson. Oh, Lance. Oh, just digs his the box. He that shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Clean with the right hook. Keeps the elbow there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Liver kick, if you take those... Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go against the fight.
All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, let's get it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner of...